Hello, hello. Welcome back to another video on CHA's YouTube channel, Narcissism and Cognitive Discipline, where trauma healing and spiritual growth are front and center. That's right. While combating radio frequency for healthier living. So, this video shout out. Okay, by the way, goes to all fellow warriors. Thank you for your continued support. We're going to dive into it because apparently some people are looking for this and have not found our channel yet. So, here we go, because we have several videos that are related to this. And, you know, how to deal with emotionally manipulated people. Also, how to deal with emotional manipulators. Okay? It's the same thing. How to deal with emotionally manipulated people slash emotional manipulators. Now, we have come to learn that anyone who manipulates emotion is a narcissist. Because only narcissists manipulate. Because remember, manipulation is deception. They are on assignment from the devil to deceive. Steal, kill, and destroy, but also to deceive in order to do that. So how do you deal with these emotionally manipulative narcissists? How do you deal with them? Well, first of all, once you identify that that's what they are, you learn real quick that they're trying to get an emotional reaction out of you. So you learn to stop giving that to them. Like, in other words... You just, okay, hold on a second. They're trying to get, you know, they're poking and prodding. They're trying to get that reaction out of you, preferably a negative one. And so you learn to just, oh, wait a minute. Don't give it to them because you can see what they're doing. So you just simply do not react. You don't react. And if they keep poking and prodding or asking, hey, what's wrong with you? Why aren't you saying anything? You can simply respond with, because there's nothing to say. Or, I don't have anything to say. And that usually shuts them down. Because they don't know what to do with that. Because they're not expecting that kind of a response. See, you don't react. But if they're prodding enough for a little bit of a response, and if you must, there you go. Because a lot of times that's what they'll do. It's like, hey man, what's wrong with you? Why aren't you saying something? Don't you have anything to say? I mean, where you at? Did you hear what I said? So, that's what they'll do. So, you learn to stop reacting. And if you must, short response like that. And that'll shut them down. Okay? And then also, I mean, that's a big one. But also, you learn how to get control of yourself. So that you don't get tricked into reacting. That's a big thing for all of us. We had to go through that season of healing, right? Overcoming the triggers so that we could get control of ourselves. That's the only thing we can do in this life, okay? In this world, is get control of ourselves. Because even God said that we need to be slow to wrath. And I mean, slow to wrath. In other words, as chosen one, it always has been one of those things where it, take or used to take a lot to get a reaction out of us it used to and I remember being told growing up the same thing y'all are not alone I remember being told man it, it sure takes a lot to get under your skin doesn't it, it yeah the mm-hmm and we were always kind of that way but then there were certain narcissists here and there where uh yeah okay that it did it still took a bit, but not as much as it would elsewhere <laughs> or with a different narcissist. And, and we didn't know at the time that's what we were dealing with. These emotional manipulators. And so we learn to get control of ourselves. We overcome the triggers so that yeah, we recognize when they're trying to trigger us, and we're like, oh. Okay, it's nothing new under the sun. Ecclesiastes 1 verse 9. Never forget that. And 
that we get control of ourselves. And you have to spend some alone time. Spend some alone time with the Heavenly Father. You have to get away from people. Cut out distractions. Find a quiet place. And do the inner work. And get control of yourself. So that you no longer react to those emotionally manipulative people. Slash emotional manipulators. Who are narcissists. So you no longer react to them. Once you no longer react. Well, then they're not going to know how to act. And you'll start to see more crazy making in their behavior, their demeanor. They may even start to shape shift. And then here's the final tip I have for how to deal with these emotional manipulative people who are narcissists. Is get control of your empathy. All right, learn how to turn off that empathy switch. We are big about that here at Consulting for Heightened Awareness because you cannot continue to feel sorry for the evildoers, the narcissists. You cannot continue to cast pearl before swine because that's what they want. They want your empathy. They want your compassion because it gives them the illusion of control over you and your emotion. See, that's all about the emotional manipulation, right? They want the illusion of control over that so they can manipulate your emotion. So if you're walking around with your heart on your sleeve, which, by the way, is your empathy, then they can sniff that out and they will use that as ammunition to manipulate and abuse. I mean, there you go. So getting control of your empathy, how do you do that? You have to talk to God. You have to do the inner work. Because for me, it was like, it was just like a really quick mental activity it was spiritual but also mental because when i realized that there was a narcissist mirroring my empathy back to me through my eyes once i realized that i cut i went oh and i was able to mentally just Bloop. okay and i can't describe it i cannot describe it because it's the spiritual part of it that was the heavenly father showing me how to shut my empathy off and it, it was just lickety split Boom. Because when I turned back around and he could no longer, yeah, he could no longer mirror it. He got the deer in the headlight look. So that let me you know they know what they're doing when they do that. Uh, so as far, and like I said, it, it's a mental. You have to like be like, oh, they're mirroring my empathy through my eyes. Ooh, we can't allow that. So once you, like you're in your mind, you're like, okay, can't allow that. But then the spiritual side has to come together with it. You know, that balance between the spiritual and the physical so that you can shut that off. And so it's just, and then it becomes automatic after that. Now, I would tell you, don't be alarmed because after you do that and you get away from whoever was mirroring your empathy to you or what have you, then... You're going to be a little bit tired. I'll tell you, when I got in the car to leave after work that day, I was like, whew. Because <laughs> it was. It, it was it was quite a task. But it wasn't draining or anything. It was just like a wow. Because it does it take that much mental and spiritual to really get a grip on that empathy and just stop giving it to them. And, and stop allowing them to mirror it back to us. Stop allowing them to tug on your heartstrings, okay? That's what the emotional manipulators love to do, is tug at the heartstrings. So don't let them do it. That's not from God. That's from the devil and his narcissist. So don't fall for that, okay, everybody? So there you go. And another way to learn how to deal with emotional manipulators is in the course, How to Deal with Toxic Coworkers. Okay, these tried and true steps can be fine-tuned and tweaked to fit any circumstance, any environment, okay, where you're dealing with a narcissist. Because toxic means narcissist. Toxic mean emotional manipulator. So the course at CHA Academy, btbw.com, listed in the description below, is going to take you to how the trauma bond is formed. you got to click on all courses and you will find how to deal with toxic coworkers. And I highly encourage y'all to take a look at the other stuff that we got for you too, because we got more coming always uh, for this healing and yeah, trauma healing and spiritual growth. 
while combating RF, radio frequency, for healthier living. So you click on all courses and you will find how to deal with toxic coworkers. You have the option to make a one-time payment or five monthly installments. You have to click on the little arrow there to find it. Okay, whatever works best for you. And you will learn some tried and true techniques, steps for how to deal with these. So once you've got control of your empathy and you're overcoming them triggers, you're like, okay, now there's some more how to, and you'll find them right there in that course. Now, mind you, that course is also designed for employers who want to add that to their employee training package. So there's a quiz, but the good news is you can take it as many times as you need to, to pass. All right. And the answers, by the way, are in the PDF notes. Easy peasy. It's real simple. The answers are right there. We didn't, we're, yeah, we are all about simplifying the complex at Consulting for Hayden Awareness, okay? All the way around. So there you go. Don't hesitate to reach out with any questions that you may have. I look forward to seeing you at CHA Academy and how to deal with toxic coworkers or any of the other courses or even the membership. I look forward to seeing you in the community forum. For additional information, insight, and other good stuff, you can check out these videos right here. Sending love and light to all fellow warriors. Thank you for watching, listening, and for your continued support. Till next time, let's show some gratitude to the Heavenly Father. And you keep being you. In Jesus' name, amen.